We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. The Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bring us some figgy pudding. Bring us some figgy pudding. It's just going to turn that off. I meant to turn this off. Very demanding, that song. Bring us some figgy pudding. <laughs> I hope everyone had a very wonderful Christmas and I hope you all have a happy new year. Um, we sold our house. I mentioned that in the last one. I'm sorry I haven't been around much. It has been pretty busy. We went down to Virginia. It's about a five hour drive for Christmas and um, we just got back and it's just been getting lining, lining up the moving. We decided to go with one of those pods and then we have our handyman and his crew are gonna load it up for us so that we don't have to do any of that heavy lifting. And then the pods will be picked up and delivered down there and then my son-in-law and his friends can help us unload down there. So it's all gotten figured out. Uh, it's all happening pretty quick. The pod is coming next week. We're loading it at the end of the week. They're picking it up and they're going to take it down there. It'll be delivered on the 15th. We close on the 25th. I just got the inspection report. It looks reasonable. They're asking for lots of things, but it's all uh, to be expected with an older house and, you know, nothing huge or unreasonable. So I'm very happy about that. That's always sort of a thing, you know, you, you accept the offer and it's all going through and then an inspection report comes out. When my son's inspection came, report came out, it almost ended the whole deal because it was a foundation. And the foundation, you know, if the foundation isn't good, it ruins everything. It ruins all your windows, it ruins the floors, it ruins the walls. You can't have a bad foundation. And uh, we had to pay a lot to get that fixed anyways always if you ever buy a house and the foundation is bad walk away no matter how beautiful the house is unless they'll give you about thirty or forty thousand dollars to uh, fix it so sometimes houses will be cheap because they have a bad foundation um, so anyways let's talk eBay well anyways um, yeah let's do this first I made thirty four dollars overnight eleven uh, uh, you the profit later uh let's break it down and see what i sold just a couple of items um but kind of interesting items sorry i've got i don't have it open here because i was looking at all my listings to see how many of my listings are like the old old listings because I think I'm going to take them all off and give them to Goodwill if they've been there for months and months and months. Um, except maybe something like the bathing suits or something like that. Because I was looking at it and so much of my stuff has just gets zero views and it's, they never get views. So it's like I promoted stuff. Um, it's just not good stuff, you know? So it's just go to Goodwill. Cause I'm basically paying the movers to move all this stuff and like the square footage of that container is very very valuable i have to ask myself is this something i love so much that i'd be willing to come and make an extra trip for it because if it doesn't fit in the pods or in our cars on the move down we have to come back and keep getting stuff which i would really like to not do we have downsized so much um and i still have more stuff i'm putting stuff on facebook marketplace and we got rid of our dining room table and chairs, a coffee table. I have a hutch that I'm getting rid of today. I've got like a cough, uh, like a really nice pottery barn end table, but um, I just don't think we have any place to look at. What I have to do is draw out a floor plan of our new house and figure out where every piece of furniture is going to go. I think I'm going to do that today. And uh, honestly, every box of stuff like the stuff in the garage or the stuff in the um uh basement and stuff one of the stipulations that they had in the inspection was that everything's cleared out so you know we got a whole bunch of stuff here <laughs> to clear out we were like oh and some of the stuff was even stuff that was left here by the last uh owners so you know crazy um a lot of stuff okay what was i saying yes I sold two items. 
one is this Donna Saliar's Fabulous Furs. And it's just this sort of faux fur, long, shaggy, kind of a long vest. These are pretty much in style now, I think. Donna Salyer's Fabulous Furs Faux Fur Vest Size Small Oversized Coastal Cowgirl, I put in there. Had it for a while, wanted it to sell, took an offer of $10 and $7 shipping. I paid four for that, so I ended up, after shipping, making about $3. It's okay. Okay, I got my money back. This is something that surprised me that it took so long that it didn't have more interest. I think it's a really cool piece. It's Eddie Bauer, and it's a fisherman's duster, medium, polyurethane, waterproof, rain, chore coat, yellow. And it's one of these really cool, almost like, I don't know, maybe I should have called it waxed. But it doesn't say it's waxed. It's just polyester, but it's long. It's a, um, I think it's a men's. And it's just really cool. Like, I don't know. I guess it's just a long raincoat, but it just looked cool. And I sold that for $10 and $7 shipping. This was free, so I ended up making like $8 on that. That's all right. Anyways, made 34 gross, 11 net for a total of 36,476 gross and 18,015 net, including what I sold over the last few days. So I've made 18,000 net. Woohoo! 18,000. Um, yeah, um, we've got the pods coming. I've got to organize like crazy. So I don't know. I will even probably be shutting down the eBay store, my eBay operation, uh, probably in a few days. Uh, you know, because it's going to all get loaded in the pods and delivered, and it'll be a week or so. I'll put it on vacation. Well, I'm no, I'm going to, I can't. I could put it on the vacation mode, I guess, but I wouldn't be able to answer questions if I had to go and look at something, but I could just tell them to check with me when I get back. I'm on vacation, right? So maybe I'll do that. I'll probably do that. Hey, I got good news with eBay. I'm gonna be top rated seller again. It's been a while. I said if they evaluated me now, so that's nice. I've also got like high return rates, high, and that's hurting me. But anyways, it's nice to get top rated. Just barely squeezed in there. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking of taking down uh, a lot of the stuff because, again, I don't want to deliver it. So I'm going to work on that and take it to Goodwill. And um, getting ready. So I don't know if I'm going to be around for a couple of weeks. I'll try to come and give updates. There might be days where it's actually very slow, like when the guys are loading and stuff like that. So... Um, we'll do that and, um, uh, just had a wonderful time over Christmas. It was so awesome spending Christmas with little, uh, Evelyn. Um, she started crawling a little bit and she's, she's late on her crawling and she's got a possible little developmental thing going on physically, I think. But so it was really, really a great Christmas present that she started crawling. She's 15 months and, um, She's in physical therapy and stuff like that, but uh, I don't know if I've talked much about that, but she's just the sharpest, funniest little girl you ever saw. <laughs> Expert at peekaboo. Uh, champion at peekaboo. Um, so, in the house was beautiful. Uh, Christmas morning, I just sat out on the patio and watched the sun come up. It was so quiet. You don't realize how loud regular life is until you get to where there's no sound and uh somebody mentioned something about the sound in the comments and saying uh you might get some noise from the boats but this lake has a uh, policy of no motors or it might be only very small motors no big power motors and most everybody has electrically powered uh pontoon boats like they one conveyed with the house you just plug it in and go and so those are really quiet. So, I mean, every time I've been out there, I have, you know, it has been more the fall and the winter, but I've never seen anybody out even on the boat, but it's kind of, we're on one of the like little 
fingers of the lake. It's a very small lake. It's, it's not like a resort lake at all. It's a private community lake that was built, as far as I understand it, for preservation and uh, something to help the water. I, I don't know. I'll find more, more about the whole thing. Oh, more about it. But it's like they don't let you do Airbnb there. It's not a place like they want. It's not touristy or anything like that. It's just residents who have this little lake and we and we, there's a private beach only for residents and I haven't been there but <clears throat> it's just very very nice so I was sitting there and no sound the sun's coming up but then the sound does start but it's it's one by one all the little uh, species of birds and water fowl waking up and it kind of comes in with a chirp chirp and ends up with some honks from the Canadian geese coming in, they sounded like sounded like some kind of orchestra with the tubas coming in at the end. It was really fun and really peaceful. You just can't help but be peaceful looking at this lake. Uh, it's like the perfect meditative spot. Water is like that, isn't it? It just makes you slow down and meditate. Okay, I better go. I got a lot to do today. And thank you for all the good wishes on selling the house. and. Looks like the inspection is going to be fine. It went through, so that's fine. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.